This is about the survival of the human race, a sign of the times, an analysis, and a commentary. Gunfire rings in New Year across the United States. Seven people were shot, one of them fatally, during a New Year's party early Tuesday in Columbus, Georgia, police said. Just one of many fatal shootings to be reported across the country as 2013 got off to a bloody start. Police detectives told NBC station WLTZ of Columbus that six people were shot inside the Majestic Sports Bar about 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time. One of the victims was pronounced dead and the four others were being treated at the Medical Center of Columbus for non-life-threatening injuries. The Columbus Inquirer reported that the dead man was identified as Charles Foster Jr., 24, of Columbus. A short time later, a gunshot wounded a person sitting in a car in the club's parking lot. Police said that person was treated and released. WLTZ reported that police knew of no suspects but said there may have been more than one shooter. Across the country, the New Year rang in with the sound of gunfire. Three people, one of them a 17-year-old boy, were shot and killed Tuesday morning in separate incidents in Philadelphia. The teenager was shot in the head about 12.30 a.m. Eastern Time. During a house party, police said, about two hours later, an unidentified man was shot and killed in the Frankfurt area of the city. Then about 3 a.m., police who were called to a house in North Philadelphia where they found three gunshot victims. One later died at a hospital. Police said they were investigating a double homicide Tuesday morning in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. The names of both victims were being withheld. The authorities said both were in their early 20s. Police in Virginia said a 31-year-old man died at a hospital after he was shot at a social gathering about 3 a.m. WAVY reported in Chicago, which hit the grim milestone of 500 homicides in 2012 last week. New Year's Day kept the toll clicking. A 20-year-old was killed Tuesday morning on the west side, authorities said. He was among 11 people to have been shot so far the Sun-Times reported. Another man was also shot and killed early New Year's morning at a Georgia nightclub. Located in South Augusta, police told NBC station WAGT of Augusta, a suspect was in custody after a man killed one person and wounded four others New Year's morning at a convenience store in Lansing, Michigan. NBC station WILX of Lansing reported three of those injured were reported to be in critical condition. Four people were shot, one of them fatally, at about 3.30 a.m. at a gasoline station in Lorraine, Ohio. NBC station WKYC of Cleveland reported police said a man shot his girlfriend in the head in Port Arthur, Texas during an argument New Year's morning. NBC station KBMT of Beaumont reported she was pronounced dead. A 19-year-old high school senior was dead and two other people were wounded during a shooting incident about 2 a.m. Eastern Time during a New Year's Eve party at an American Legion building in Clayton, North Carolina. NBC station WNCN of Raleigh reported in Corpus Christi, Texas a 35-year-old man was found injured in a parking lot New Year's morning and died at a hospital. NBC station KRIS of Corpus Christi reported. Police haven't confirmed how the man was wounded, but they arrested a man armed with a handgun after an hour-long standoff at a nearby apartment. Police in Flint, Michigan said they had no suspects in the death of a man who was found New Year's morning with a gunshot wound, NBC station WEYI reported. Indianapolis police 
were called to a duplex shortly before 5.30 a.m. found a dead man with what appeared to be a gunshot wound. NBC station WTHR reported no other details were immediately available. Sheriff's deputies were investigating a fatal shooting New Year's Day in Columbia, South Carolina. NBC station WIS of Columbia reported and there were many more shootings all over the country on New Year's Day. The shootings continued and this too is another sign of the end of times as we know them. Transition days which is a time of extraordinary happenings, changes and events because it really is about what kind of world are we leaving to the future generations? And that should be a very important question to ask. Everything that must change, must change quickly or rapidly and for the better. Luke chapter 21 verse 34 And take heed to yourselves lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with partying and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. 36. Watch ye therefore, and pray always, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that are coming to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. Revelation chapter 22 verse 12 And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every human according as his work shall be. 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. It's time for prophecy to be fulfilled, and all these are more signs of the times. Everything is connected, and everything is numbered.